Neem Karoli Baba and the incarnation of Lord Hanuman, who influenced Mark Zuckerberg and uh, Steve Jobs, among uh, many others. Miraculous tales of success and glory that were influenced by supernatural powers are popular around the world. One such miraculous figure was Neem Karoli Baba, who was believed to be the incarnation of Lord Hanuman, a Hindu deity himself. Established names like Mark Zuckerberg, Julia Roberts, and Steve Jobs have been hardcore believers and devotees of Neem Karoli Baba. Now, who is this Neem Karoli Baba? Who was he? Neem Karoli Baba, who passed away in 1973, was a Hindu guru and devotee of the Hindu deity Hanuman. His devotee knew him as Maharaj Ji. He's prominently known as a spiritual guru of several Americans who traveled to India in the 1960s and 70s, including the spiritual teachers Ram Das and Bhagavan Das and the munitions Krishna Das and Jai Uttal. His hermitages are located at various places in India and the United States, such as Kainchi, Vindavan, Rishikesh, Shimba, the Neem Karali village near Kima Shepur in Farukabad, Bumiadar, Hanuman Gari, and Delhi in India, and Taos, New Mexico in the United, Sta in the United States. Kainshi Dam in the uh, state of Uttarakhand in India is dedicated a temple to the Hindu late deity Lord Hanuman, and this temple was established by the Neem Karali Baba and it said that one can feel the presence and strength of the Lord Hanuman in and around the temple. The temple has been visited by both Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckerberg during their tough times. The influence of Neem Karali Baba on Steve Jobs? Steve Jobs always had a strong connection to India and it's extremely evident in his stories of the Hare Krishna temple. Steve Jobs traveled to India in 1974 with his friend Dan Kotke, and after experiencing a succession of disappointments in his life, Jobs sought eternal peace and inspiration. After hearing the traditions of Neem Karali Baba and Ashram, Steve desired to meet Baba and received his blessings. On September 11, 1973, Baba had left his body, Mahashamadi, prior to his arrival. They lived in the ashram for a long period, listened to Baba's teachings and practiced distant meditation before returning to the United States to find Apple. Interestingly, Kotke was the uh, company's first employee and the rest is history. Steve Jobs has frequently emphasized his spiritual experiences in India. It's also said that Apple, one of the world's most influential firms, adopted the logo of Neem Karali Baba's favorite fruit. It's also stated that when Steve was counting his final breaths, he had a photo of Baba beneath his pillow. Mark Zuckerberg and his visit to Kainchi Dam. Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg told all about his visit to Kainchi Dam in a conversation with the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, and stated that Steve Jobs had suggested him to visit Neem Karali Baba's Maharaji Ashram in Kainchi. Zuckerberg visited the temple when he was confronted with tough times in both his life and with Facebook. The Facebook founder came with only a book and was scheduled to stay for one day. However, something kept him there for two days. He said, so I went and traveled for almost a month and seeing people, seeing how people connected and having the opportunity to feel how much better the world could be if everyone had a strong ability to connect reinforced for me the importance of what we were doing, and that is something I've always remembered over the last 10 years as we built Facebook, he says. Steve Jobs, the inventor of Apple, with the intention of meeting Neem Karli Baba, visited at the ashram with his friend Dan Kotke. However, he was unable to see Baba because he had died before his arrival. According to reports, actress Julia Roberts was fascinated by Hinduism due to Neem Karli Baba's influence. Miracles associated with Neem Karali Baba. Ram Das, an American spiritualist, believed that once Neem Karali Baba boarded a train without carrying a ticket, which prompted the attention the attendant to stop the train, Maharaj Ji was forced to get off in a village in the state of Uttar Pradesh. 
The train attendant discovered that the engine of the train stopped working for no reason. After multiple failed attempts to start the train, someone proposed to the conductor that Marahaj G should be allowed back on board. Neem Karali consented to board the train under two conditions. One, the railway company must establish a station in Neem Karali's hamlet. Villagers had to trek many miles to the nearest station at the time. And two, the railway company must treat sad who's more kindly in the future. Officials consented and Neem Karali Baba boarded the train while joking. What is it my responsibility to start the trains as well? The train started immediately after he boarded, but the conductors refused to move forward unless the sadhu blessed them to do so. Baba bestowed his blessings and the train continued onward. Later, a train station was constructed in Neem Karali. In another incident that took place in 1943, Maharaji arrived in Fatgar, where an elderly couple's son was battling in Burma. When Maharaji visited their home, they offered him whatever they could. There were only two beds in the room and Maharaji proposed his desire to sleep, to which the elderly couple offered him a cot and a blanket. The elderly couple remained up all night to watch Maharaji. He groaned and shifted in his sleep until 4 a.m. At 4.30, Maharaji became silent and then wrapped something in his bed cover. He informed the elderly man, It's very heavy. Don't try to see what it is. You should throw it into the Ganges where it's deep. No one should see you or you'll get into trouble, he said. As the old man was carrying the blanket, it felt as if he was carrying something heavy like metal. When Maharaji was leaving, he told the couple that they do not need to be worried as their son would return in a month. Miraculously, the couple's son arrived in a month and he told his parents that during the battle he was stuck in a deadly situation. His unit was ambushed by the enemy and he fell into a ditch by accident. Although the night, throughout the night, bullets flew from left to right, he specifically told his parents that he felt a supernatural power protecting him from the bullets like a shield. At four o'clock in the morning, the Japanese realized that they had killed everyone and so they retreated. At 4.30, Indian forces arrived. He was the lone survivor of the entire unit. This ambush occurred on the same night Maharaji had visited his parents. Uh, Neem Karli Baba said, I am like the wind, no one can hold me. I belong to everyone, no one can own me. The whole world is my home, all are my family. I live in every heart, I will never leave you, he said. This is on Infinite Explorers by Anshu Vastava. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.